And the elbow, examination of the elbow. Again, inspection. Exam? One exam? Is that yeah, one exam? That's one exam. The separate patient, you will be doing elbow and the wrist examination. And hand, right? I mean, sorry, hand examination. Hand. Wrist and hand, yeah. Elbow inspection. What are the things that you would notice? What are the problems you anticipate with the elbow? It be supracondylar fracture. If there is supracondylar fracture, all three bony prominences. What are the three bony prominences in the elbow? Lateral epicondyle, medial epicondyle, and the olecranon process. So all three would be pushed backwards if there is supracondylar fracture. Yes? So what if there is dislocation of the ulna? If the ulna, only the olecranon process would be moved backwards, but these two would remain in the same place. But olecranon process instead of here, the same line, olecranon process would be moving backwards. And you know, Okay. Yeah. And other things that you can check for any signs of inflammation, if there is olecranon process, I mean, uh, the bursitis on the olecranon process, you would see the redness and the swelling. Okay. If there is any fluid in the joint, you can see any fluid in, in this joint. Inspection. Okay. No signs of inflammation, no signs of deformities. Okay. What nodules you can see on the skin? What condition do you see nodules on the skin? Rheumatoid nodules and rheumatoid arthritis, you can see the nodules, okay? Then begin to palpate the light palpation on the olecranon process, okay? Palpate on the lateral epicondyle, the medial epicondyle, be cautious with the ulnar nerve. If you press on the ulnar nerve, patient would complain of discomfort. And also feel the joint space in between the medial lateral epicondyle and the olecranon process. See if there is any tenderness, okay? that you can appreciate in uh, rheumatoid arthritis. If there is any fluid in osteoarthritis, you can feel that fluid, right? Yes? Okay. So you do bilateral? Yeah, bilateral on the, the other side as well, okay? Then, the palpation. What are the other things that you want to do with the palpation of the elbow? Also palpate your medial epicondyl, lateral epicondyl, organ process. What are the tests that you would like to do? Is test for Tennis elbow and test for golfer's elbow. How do you test for tennis elbow? Tennis elbow patient would complain of pain against resistance. Okay, ask the patient to move his wrist against resistance. Do this when I try to resist it. Do this one. Okay, this here. Okay, patient would complain of pain on the lateral epicondyle. There is uh, inflammation. Okay, and do this one opposite. That is for golfer's elbow, medial epicondyle. Like this. Okay, so what are the movements of the elbow? flexion extension you can also do supination this is supination this is pronation you can do it against the resistance push your hand okay pull it towards you okay is it clear and you try to move it okay the opposite direction okay right what else you're doing the wrist okay the wrist inspection again inspect the wrist Say there are no deformities at least, but you don't have patience. Okay, no deformities of the wrist. Okay, what fractures do you expect of the wrist? Lower, colis fracture. If there is rheumatoid arthritis, you can see inflammation in the wrist joint, inflammation in the metacarpophalangeal joint, inflammation in the proximal interphalangeal joint. If there is rheumatoid, chronic rheumatoid arthritis, you can see the deformities like swan neck deformity as botanius deformities. Okay, yes? Okay, and there is no a wrist drop or anything, patient is okay, it's not flaccid, or if there is no dupitrans du contracture that you notice, okay, there is no atrophy of the muscles in between your metacarpals, there is no atrophy of the thinner and hypothenar eminence that you notice, okay, so as such there are no deformities on both hands, all right, so there are no deformities on both hands, and the hand, um, the fingers are slightly flexed and parallel to each other, no abnormalities. Then you begin to palpate, palpate the lower end of the ulna and the radius, see if there is any tenderness, if there is a fracture there would be tenderness, and if the rheumatoid arthritis there would be tenderness in the, in the, the wrist joint, Okay, and ask the patient to do this finger or you can do this and try to check for tenderness in the anatomical snuff box. If there is tenderness in the anatomical snuff box, usually in the scaphoid fracture, patient would complain of pain, right? Then palpate all the metacarpals, okay? All the metacarpals, the carpal bones and the metacarpal bones, see if there is any tenderness and most important metacarpophalangeal joint tenderness, okay? Where do you see metacarpophalangeal joint tenderness? rheumatoid arthritis again. 
again check for nodules in the proximal interphalangeal joint and also the distal interphalangeal joint okay in distal interphalangeal <coughs> joint so you just do both them all at once yeah okay right what are the movements that you want to do here do this for me this one move on either side okay you can ask the patient to do both hands at one time okay to save time okay then what are the movements of the fingers especially the thumb adduction abduction flexion extension all right the flexion extension okay and what is the other most important this is opposition, opposition. ask the patient to do this one and do for the intra how do you test for intra muscles? Abduction. Abduction and adduction. Okay. Just open this. Okay. Don't let me close it. And close it between my fingers and squeeze my finger. Open it. Squeeze my fingers. Okay. Go for the strength. Okay. This is mostly of neurological examination, the strength. Okay. Tunnels and funnel signs. And the other two important tests that you have to check for the median nerve is tap on the, the, the median nerve on the flexor retinaculum okay and see if patient complains of any tingling sensation on the median nerve distribution the other test that you have to do is the phalanx test okay press both your hands against each other the wrist is flexed okay if do you feel any pain on the distribution of the median nerve there's no pain so you're ruling out carpal tunnel is that clear okay yeah and the lower extremity, 